<clears throat> so hello guys and welcome back to the channel after about one week i am finally ready to make another video and it just so happens that this week we got a patch that buffs the focus area so in this video i'm going to be discussing about the new experience rates at the focus area and also cover again the rotations and show them for those who didn't see my previous videos or just don't know in general uh, the rotations at focus if you are new to this kind of video then I will point out again as usual that I'm grinding as fast as I possibly can and I'm not looting anything from the ground manually because I want to see what is the maximum potential of experience that I can get for each area that I test and also the experience rates are reduced to the normal 100% ratio so you will have to add your own buffs on top of the values that I will be showing in this video. With uh, all of that out of the way, this is where you can find the focus area on the map. And also since this is the second time I'm testing this place, I will have linked in the description my previous older video just in case you want to maybe compare the mob density from before and after the patch or something like that. So the rotations. The first one on my list is the one that goes through the cave and this is basically the main rotation that people usually do when they come here. So if you are interested to know how to do it or exactly what the groups I was killing you can see it on the map and also on the video playing on the background which I did record at the time of actually testing this. So on this rotation I did a total of 3 different runs of 10 minutes, 20 minutes and another 10 minutes and if I make an average out of the experience that I got from those three runs the experience rates for this first rotation is 0.0077% experience per minute. This is obviously at level 60 and I did try my best to grind this rotation as fast as possible and also I should mention that I was grinding faster and faster as time went by because I was getting used to exactly where the mobs were so I was moving from one group to another more easier or smoother. If you are familiar with my experience tests then you should know that this value is way higher than any other area that I tested in the past. So already from this first rotation you should have an idea about the experience rates at Fogans. Just for the sake of making my point clear, the previous best spot in the game for solo grinding was the jungle rotation at Pirates. And this on the screen is the value that I got by testing the jungle rotation at Pirates solo on my level 60 wizard with almost the same gear. So already you can see that the experience difference is pretty big, especially since this is experience per minute and not experience per hour. In my opinion, this uh, cave rotation at Fogans is one of the better ones you can find here, simply because it takes me more than 3 minutes to complete one uh, cycle for this rotation. So for example, if you look at my E Awakening buff from my wizard, I was using that buff at the exact same location on the rotation path and usually it was out of the cooldown as soon as I was back to that group. The reason this might be important is because by using that buff I can actually boost my clearing speed a little bit and if I am able to use that buff at the exact same place every single time I'm not going to forget to use it because if the rotation for example is 2.5 minutes I will have to actually remember myself to use the buff each 3 minutes. For most of you this is not going to be such an important detail because I'm pretty sure most of you don't use the awakening buff when grinding. But the rotation at Fogans has to be at least 2.5 minutes long because mobs here don't share the new respawn timer that you can find at Sosans or Kamasilve. So if the rotation is too short or you are grinding too fast, the mobs are not going to be respawned in time. This was actually a problem that I faced when uh, testing the second uh, rotation, so since I'm pretty much done talking about the first one, let's move on to the second rotation, which I named the back rotation. 
On this one as usual I started by trying to grind as fast as possible and when I finished the cycle once I found out that I was grinding too fast. So for the sake of actually testing this rotation and to give it some value I tested the rotation only once for 10 minutes while grinding somewhat slower and waiting for the mobs to respawn. So that if you have a lower gear score and you decide to grind here you can at least have some idea of the experience that you're going to be getting. So since I only did one test then there's not that much I can make an average of and from just this one test the experience was about 0.0056% experience per minute. And surprisingly this is still better than what you can get at Sosans by grinding solo. So even if you have a lower gear score and you cannot grind that fast you can get this rotation and still get better experience range than uh, at Sosans. I'm pretty sure this spot doesn't have the potential to offer any more experience because there are no extra groups around to actually make the rotation bigger. So this value should be the final experience value for this rotation. If you're interested to know how much time it took me to complete the rotation once, then when I was grinding as fast as possible, I completed the entire rotation in about 1 minute and 50 seconds. And then when I was actually testing the rotation and I was grinding slower, I completed the rotation in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So if you can grind this rotation in about 2 minutes and 15 seconds or more, then you should be pretty much fine. Also, please note that for this kind of test I am not looting anything from the ground manually. So if you do loot manually from the ground then you should be perfectly fine by grinding here. So again I am pretty much done talking about the second rotation so let's move on to the third one which is the gatekeeper rotation and just as the name suggests on this rotation there is one gatekeeper that can spawn so if that gatekeeper is alive you might not want to grind here depending on how much dp you actually have for me with about 266 dp by using my experience helmet it was fine even though the gatekeeper would aggro me a few times while I was grinding here outside of the tests. So I'm pretty much sure you are not going to have any trouble with the gatekeeper even if he happens to be alive. Also this is the only rotation where I actually had to include some groups from the desert because the original groups that were on the visible part of the map were not enough for me to be able to complete the entire rotation and still have the mobs respawn. So as a result if you grind as fast as me then you're going to have to go a little bit into the desert and get that desert debuff. In any case for this rotation again I grinded 3 different runs of 10 minutes each and if I make an average out of those uh, 3 runs the experience for this gatekeeper rotation is about 0.0074% experience per minute. Again getting faster as I was learning the group positions and I'm pretty sure that the third run is the one more accurate, the one with 0.0076% per minute. It. But still the experience is pretty much the same as the uh, cave rotation, the first one that I covered on this video. Moving on to the fourth and last rotation, this one I named the river rotation. And just as the name suggests, this is the one that follows that uh, one river that you yourself follow when you come to the focus area. So in my opinion this is the worst rotation you could grind for long periods of time simply because it's very annoying. If I were to come here to grind for long periods of time, this is probably the last place besides the second rotation which is too small that I would check to see if it's empty. Because there are a lot of rocks along that river and it's very easy to get stuck into them. So it's pretty annoying to transition from one group to another and also the groups are pretty much placed on a straight line so it's again annoying to leave some of them alive to have something to kill when you go back up. 
I still felt like it's worth testing because every single rotation from this video is separate from each other, so they don't intersect. So as a result this place is a rotation that you might want to grind when this area gets populated and people come here to grind like they do for pirates. So for this area again I tested it 3 different times of 10 minutes each and if I make an average out of the 3 runs the experience was about 0.0078% experience per minute. And even though it seems like it's the best experience so far, I'm pretty sure it's again about the same as the gatekeeper rotation and the cave rotation. It just matters if I have enough groups to kill them constantly and if they are close enough to each other. So pretty much any rotation at Fogans besides the second one is going to give you more experience than the jungle rotation at Pirates. And this is why I say that this uh, area, the Desert Fogans, is probably going to become the new Pirates. At the time of making this video I didn't yet test the new desert nagas, so I don't know if those have similar experience rates to Fogans or if they are any better or worse. So at the moment the best experience in the game for solo grinding seems to be the Fogans area. If there are any details that I forgot to add in the video, I will have them in a comment down below and if you yourself want to add something or just want to discuss about this topic further, just leave a comment and we can continue the conversation. So to end the video, as always I appreciate it if you made it this far into the video and I hope you enjoyed it, you found some information out of it and if you did then I hope to see you next time.